Hey y'all, welcome back to Cigar Time. My name's Time, and this is the My Father's um, Jaime Garcia. And Jaime Garcia Reserve Special. Special Reserve. So, go ahead and get this thing. It's a Robusto, which is this, my father's Robusto is a 5.2 by 52. So again, another different, uh, another different Robusto size. So anyway, let's open her up. Got this from the cigar shop, and excited about this one. I love my father's cigars; they're just good, always good. Never had a bad one. So, it's a very oily, dark Maduro broadleaf wrapper, and I have no idea what the binder and filler are. I couldn't find it anywhere, so, oh well, mystery. It's got a nice triple cap on it. Tastes like candy. Not sweet, but tastes like a little, a little sweet. Tastes like gummy bears. It's very interesting. I like that. Not a sweet tipped, but we will uh, we will see how this goes. That'd be really strange if it tasted like gummy bears. Anyway, okay. Well, I'm gonna light it up and get in the first third. See how this thing does. All right. That is strange. I get a little bit of a coffee note and Play-Doh. Like, Play-Doh. I'm thinking that's from the lighter. So that's why I do a second draw. Why I do a second draw instead of first draw because first draw... Gives a lot of that uh, that stuff from the butane and filters through the cigar, and it makes it makes the first puff, first couple of puffs taste weird. So, let's try it again. Second draw. Ooh, that's totally different. It's amazing, um, just how different one puff can make. So, getting uh, still the still the coffee, getting a very rich creamy texture. It's very thick smoke. It's not it's not pouring off of the uh, off the foot smoke wise, but it definitely it's definitely thick in the mouth. Very good. I'm gonna let this heat up a little bit, get the cherry going, and I'll check back with y'all in a little bit. Wow. This thing this thing is just great. Ash just split right there on the side. Just gonna have to roll it off a little bit. If you don't already know, cigar tip, um, don't tap the ash in the ashtray. You roll it. You just set it in there and then roll off the ash. Then it'll be it'll keep all of the uh, all of the cherry on there and it won't jar the cigar. And um, you want to keep. My preference is to keep um, as much ash on there as possible just because it allows it to be cooler because um, that's a nice filter that it has on there. But you have to you have to tap it. You have to tap that ash mm -hmm. <laughs> um, every once in a while or else it'll fall in your lap and that's no fun. Ash in your lap is never a good thing. Um, ash. Cigar. Cigar ash. So, um, anyway, cigar, <laughs> um, this thing, this thing is so good. Um, it, uh, it's got not a super great, uh, razor sharp burn, but it's a little wavy. It's not wonky and, um, there is a difference and just still that, that coffee note, it's developed more into a, uh, a slightly diluted espresso. It's it doesn't pack um, a terrible punch, but it's like 
It's like eating a coffee bean. That's probably the best description that I can give right now. Eating a coffee bean, and it has a um, it has a very specific cedar note to it in the exhale and the um in in the finish. It's it's a it's a deep like an aged cedar like like a cedar barrel. Um, very. It's not not like an oak barrel, but it's like a cedar like a cedar barrel. It's been aged. It's it's very very good. Um, still on the creamier side, not on the drier side. It's not a spitter yet, and still just very good. It's got the cedar. It's got the that um, that coffee bean and. And it's still got that little bit of a uh, little bit of pepper. The pepper has died down for sure. It's it's not. I was only getting it like on the sides of my tongue, and now that's gone. It's just a little bit in the finish, and ever so slightly in the retrohale, but still just as thick as ever, and very very enjoyable. And this is a great relaxing evening stick. It's just. There's, I mean, the draw is perfect. The the burn isn't perfect, but that's okay. It's it's still burning well enough to where I don't need to worry about it. And the ash on it, um, when I rolled it off, it's all gray. Little bit, little specks of white and from the magnesium, and which is good. And just just a great cigar still. So I'm gonna get. Probably right to the band point, and then check in again and see how it uh, how it continues to burn and how it continues to taste. The ashes fell off. Okay, well, got to take the band off anyway. Didn't land on me though, so that's major plus. Okay. Oh, perfect. There's barely, probably can't see it, but there's barely any glue on this thing. It's amazing. Nice band. It's got a lot of, uh, very, it's raised. It's like embossed. It's really cool. I mean, it's actually very thick paper. Oh, it's actually like it's raised. You can see, maybe. There's the shadow. Probably can't, but um, everything on this thing. There's there's no sticker. It's all it's all raised. You can actually see the Jaime Garcia. Especial, all that stuff. Reserve Especial on the back of it. Just, it's like stamped. It's really cool. Okay, enough about this. More about the cigar. Um, the flavors have not changed and they haven't died down any. But um, there's still a little bit of pepper in the retrohale, but not much. I mean, pepper's gone besides retrohale. Um... It's a mild to medium at best strength-wise, um, but otherwise the flavors have been very consistent since beginning the second, third. Still a little bit of coffee, but the that that uh, that roasted or what did I say? The I don't remember what whatever. Same cedar flavors and just. Very, uh, very, very good. Very, very deep. It's not, it's, the flavors are not all over the place, and they're not, um, they're not, oh, here's one, and here's one, and here's one. It's, it's all, they're all there together, consistent. The finish is very short, which I like, because, I mean, with a, with a full-bodied cigar, this is um, medium to full body, and in my opinion, and it's uh, it's 
been it's been great and it's with that typically I enjoy a more a little bit longer of a finish so that some of the more subtle flavors will will kind of trickle through as the finish goes on but it, this one is perfect the way that it is it's fantastic I got a little bit of a uh, um, little bit of a, uh, a cone not a cone a little bit of a canoe there we go a um, little bit of a canoe going there but it's it's still lit up there and as you can see it's just plumes of plumes of smoke and very very thick this is definitely a this is a this is a very good maduro it's not it's not um, it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, lahiro in it but it's definitely it's a very good rich cigar um, which I have come to expect from my father but my father's uh, my father's cigars and it's it's been fantastic all throughout the entire stick and it's just that's great that's all I can say about it so far um, which probably isn't gonna change but hey never know may get a total change in the final third uh, which would be really cool but if not it's still gonna be a great stick all the way down to the nub it is still very cool and the whole time it has been very firm and even all the way up here where my fingers are it's still cool which is amazing and just it's just great I'm really I'm really enjoying this one this is this is I'm definitely gonna be buying more of these um, I have no idea what they cost for a box online but um, once I get my budget right with paying the medical bills then I will definitely be looking into getting a getting a box of these these are just these are great they're they're cheap Er, they're cheaper on the small side. Um, Mr. Davis, he will. I'm assuming if he hasn't already done a review about this, which I've seen his video, all his videos, and I don't think he has, at least on his current channel. And I'm gonna tell him to do a review of it because this is just a really good cigar. This is right up his alley, and just. It's just great. It's just great. That's all I can say. Okay, I'm going to continue smoking this thing and see y'all in the final third. That's a lot of smoke. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. Wow. It still full-bodied that uh, that aged oak, oak, that cedar, that aged cedar hanging out, I mean, all the way to the end. That's, that's got to be one of my favorite flavors. It's just so good. Wow. It's difficult to explain, but it's, it's fantastic. Um, flavors have not changed, or actually they have. Um, still, a lot of cedar. Heat has picked up a lot. It's especially down here with the nub. And um, sadly, I'm going to have to end it here pretty soon, which I'm not very happy about. But um, this has just been just been great. The pepper has picked up for sure. Once I've reached the little nub with it heating up with the. Um, Getting here towards the end with the amazing flavors that this thing has brought is just just amazing. Even with the pepper, it, it, it does it doesn't linger, and it's just in just in the draw. And with the with the cherry getting so close, it is getting a little hot hot, but. Uh, As you can see, it's pretty dark out here. It uh, 
it's really cool to be able to see the sunset over the trees and watch the light fade and I might have to do this more often, do night videos, just really cool. Trying to take short puffs so I can make it last as long as possible. This is so good. This is this is really good. Rating 8.6, 8.7. This thing is just great. Um, I, for me, on a scale of 1 to 10, a 10, I'm really strict with my uh, with my ratings. And a 10 is a cigar that I just love hands down beyond everything else and that I could smoke any time of day, every day, and be perfectly satisfied with it. So that's why it's an eight and a half, a little bit above an eight and a half, but still fantastic. It's, this thing is so good. Uh, this is, I mean, this and the CAO America, uh, what I call the Trump cigar. Uh, these are, I mean, these are my two favorite ones so far that I've reviewed, and they're just, this one in particular is just, it's so full-bodied, and it's still a mild to medium smoke, uh, strength-wise, which is amazing, and definitely kudos to, uh, um, to my fathers and to, um, Jaime for, for blending this absolutely perfectly. Um, I prefer it if there was an... Actually, you know what? If there wasn't any pepper in the bottom third, in the last third, then it'd be even better, but with the extremely mild pepper throughout the first two thirds and into the final third, it just, it's just great. It's like perfect. So, definitely... Man, you gotta get, you have to go pick one of these up, especially um, if you like Maduros, and it's uh, there are bugs flying everywhere. Whoa. But if you like Maduros, it's not a kick in the pants, but it's it's so smooth. It's not it's not overly creamy. It doesn't overpower anything, and creamy texture, not creamy taste. It doesn't have any cream taste. It doesn't taste like coffee creamer, but it's it's still loads of uh, loads of thick smoke even way down here. I mean, it actually reminds me, smoke production wise, of a uh, of a Rocky, a Rocky Patel, because. It just, the just plumes and plumes and plumes of smoke, and you can see it through my beard of how much smoke output that this thing is putting off now since getting into the final third, and it's just, it's great. I like, like the, uh, like the amount of smoke. Secondhand smoke actually smells good, <laughs> and um, it's, oh, it's just fantastic. Definitely, rec definitely, definitely recommend. But anyway. I'll let y'all uh, let y'all get back to whatever it is that you're doing, and I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna continue to smoke this thing down a little bit further, and just enjoy the night. It's a nice 77 degrees out here, and low-ish humidity. Low-ish humidity for Georgia. It's 75 percent humidity. Um, but beats Florida, <laughs> especially this time of night. But uh, um, it's just this is real. I I love this cigar. This was a very good cigar. Um, got it from uh, uh, from Puff and Stuff in Atlanta, and it just their price right now in towards the end of July is like. I think it was eight fifty, and for for what it is, I mean, this is this is fantastic. Um, it's it's better than a lot of fifteen to seventeen dollar cigars that I've had.
This thing, this thing is so good. Anyway, um, I will see y'all in the next video. And stay smoky. And hope y'all have a blessed and enjoyable evening. And you got to pick one of these things up if you can find them. Get a five. Get a five. Go online. Get a five pack. Go to your local store. See if they have any My Father's cigars. And just. Um, I really like the My Father's brand, and this is, this is a very, very good, this is a very good one, but anyway, I'll see y'all later, and hope that you enjoy whatever it is that you're smoking, or beverage that you're drinking, or whatever it is that you may be doing whenever you have this. Enjoy. <laughs>